from Skyler to 75 Camaro, that's Ryan Check. So Moravec to set the pace, Churney right to his outside, gonna go green flag racing this time by good start here, here we go. Moravec gonna hug that bottom side off of turn two. Good run for Churney off the back stretch. They'll go side by side. And are you gonna go three wide back there for that third spot? How about the battle between Proskasil, Becker, and Check off of four? Two by three as they work into one and two. Greg Moravec once again, your leader. Eric Churney right there behind him. Good run for the double zero down the back stretch. Now here comes Ryan Check. He goes from fifth up to third in one corner. Greg Moravec continuing to lead. Eric Churney doing all he can, working in that high side so far in heat race number one of the Midwest Classics. Good run for the double zero off of turn two. He'll take the lead. New leader going into three. Moravec trying to battle back to the inside of that 74 Camaro. Can he get enough off the corner? And it's going to be Trini, your new leader at the line. Tell you what, he's getting that 53 Chevy to work in the corner there. He gets a fantastic run off the corner, and Trini continuing to lead. Moravec right there. Now here comes the MR2 of Ryan Check. Check waiting in the wings, and it's Becker and Proskasil. Routing out the order with two to go. Churney continuing to lead by a half a car length. Two to go once again. Churney down the back stretch. Now they're going to go two by two. Actually, that's, I believe, Kyle Becker. Just checked the rosters again. I believe Kyle Becker in the five from Columbus. That's a five, not a nine. And uh, Kyle Becker out here tonight. He's sitting back there in that fourth spot. Now we got three-way battle for the lead. White flag is out one more time around. And now they're gonna go three wide for the lead. How about this one, race fans? Here comes Check looking to the inside. He'll try and go from third to first, just like Adam he did last race. Slide jab in three and four off the corner. It is gonna be Check at the line by a nose. Turney comes home second, Moravec, Becker, and then it's Proskasil, but give it up, race fans. The second race in a row, a guy goes from third to first and picks up the win. Ryan Check, your winner from Skyler. Rounding out your order in the 12 team from Ord, 74 Camaro there for Brandon Proskasil. All right, the local man from right here in Albion, Rasmussen. Used to run a lot of laps here weekly back about 20 to 30 years ago. Rasmussen, known commodity around here, and he's running his Midwest Classic here tonight, and he takes the lead down the back stretch. Here comes Gamscow now to the inside as a big puff of smoke for Rombach back in that uh, second spot in that 74 Malibu. He'll get shuffled back to third. And here comes Proskasil now looking to the inside. Brandon looks for third. Meanwhile, you've got a race for the lead. Here comes Ganskow, door to door with Rasmussen down the back stretch. Ganskow through three and four. Little bit of a slide job there. Rasmussen diamonds it back down low. Crossover move for the 79. It's Ganskow at the line that time by a half a car length. It's Ganskow, Rasmussen, Proskasil now starting to run him down as Rasmussen got a little crossed up in turn two. Opens the door up to the 12D. Then it's Rombach and then the 63K of J.D. Becker routing out your order. Race is on for second between the 74 Camaro and the 67 Monte Carlo SS. And it's going to be the Camaro getting him at the line. Proskasil moves to second and he'll now look to run down the leader, Mike Ganskow. 
Ganskow working that top side in three and four. Proskis Hill working the bottom side, trying to make this track as short as possible. They'll go single file at the line this time. Three down, three to go. Final Midwest Classic Stock Car Heat Race of the night. It's Ganskow, Proskis Hill. Once again, Rasmussen rounding out your top three. And now a battle starting to brew between J.D. Becker and the seven of Bill Rombach. Rombach gets passed there, going into three and four. Becker takes over the spot. Now it gets crossed up. Here comes Rombach back to the inside. Two laps left to go. Once again, out front. Ganskow leading the way, but Proskis Hill really starting to close in on him just a little bit there. About a car length and a half advantage for Ganskow working down the back stretch. Rasmussen once again waiting back there in the wings, back in that 79. Proskis Hill off a of turn number four. You've got company, Ganskow for the lead. White flag is out one more time around. Talk about a racy service. The track crew did a fantastic job of getting this one ready tonight, and you're seeing pay off here in this one. Ganskow one final time through three and four. Proskisil one final try down low off the corner. It'll be Mike Ganskow at the line by a nose. Holy cow, what a finish. Brandon Proskisil comes home second. Alan Rasmussen, then it's the 63K of J.D. Becker, the seven of Bill Rombach. But give it up, race fans, pick it up. The heat race win once again. What a race there for the 2M from Columbus. That's Mike Ganskow. Inside row number two, first time here at Boone County Raceway for the Sean's Hay Grinding number 96R from Norfolk. That's Stephanie Reynolds and her outside currently sits Fourth in the national point standings in the Charger chassis. Demon decals 83 from Columbus. That's Jeff Ware. Shotgun on the field. It's going to be the three. Orion Feynman and the People's Service. Ray Valley repair entry. Green flag is out. Here we go. Heat race number one of your hobby stocks. Tell you what, this is going to be a good one here in this heat race. Is you've got the top two of our point standings on a weekly basis. Sitting back there in that second and third spot, Jeff Ware, your current points leader, Ryan Feynman, right behind him in second. Off of turn four, Spencer Galloway leads lap number one. Jeff Ware sitting back in second, Ryan Feynman third, then once again, Jay Colson and Stephanie Reynolds battling it out for that fourth spot. Reynolds a little tight, off of two. They'll go side by side. Meanwhile, your top three cars have checked out. All working the top side. Reynolds the only one running down low in this one. Spencer Galloway continuing to lead with two down and four to go. Jeff Ware sitting back in that second spot. Ryan Feynman in third. Here comes a three. Trying to run down your second place. Wonder, once again, those two guys very familiar with each other. Two of the top cards on a weekly basis. Jeff Ware already with three wins on this season. Ryan Feynman with one. Diamond move off of four for Feynman. At the line, it's a half a car lake lead for Ware for that second spot. Meanwhile, your leader, Spencer Galloway, trying to run away in this one. Side by side for second there momentarily before Ware starts to pull away just a little bit. Feynman, his very comfortable line on the bottom side in three and four. Two to go this time by at the line. This time, Ryan Feynman has the spot. Ryan Feynman moves to second. Spencer Galloway got a little tight off a of turn two. He'll power away down the back stretch. You've got a three-car battle for the lead as they work into three and four. How about this first hobby stock heat race? Feynman coming to call the bottom side. Ryan Feynman's your new leader with one lap left to go. Galloway still working the cushion, trying to work back around him. Here comes the 83 of Jeff Ware working to the inside. Side by side for second, but Ryan Feynman now comfortably in the lead. He'll work the bottom side in three and four, and he'll steal the heat race win number one here in the night. Ryan Feynman picks up the win. Jeff Ware sneaks in for that second spot. Spencer Galloway in third. And then it'll be Stephanie Reynolds and then Jay Colson routing out your order. But race fans, give it up. The man started shotgun on the field. He picks up the win in the people's service. Ray Valley Repair, Big Daddy Race Cars, perfect circle number three from Albion. That's Ryan Feyman. Model Electric number double zero from Norfolk. That's Shannon Pospisil. Second and final heat race of your hobby stocks. Another stout field of cars here tonight. Flockinger to lead the way with Grape right to her outside. Off a of turn four. Green flag is out. Here we go. Side by side through one and two. Tristan Grape in the Charger chassis powers away from another Charger chassis of Brooke Flockinger as they work at a three and four. Tristan looking to lead lap number one here. And he will do so. 
Good start for the 14. Burke Lockinger in second. Shannon Pospisil has worked himself up into that third spot. He started fifth, but here comes Colby Kaspar back to the inside. David Orquist routing out your order here. Your second and final Big Daddy Race Car IMCA Hobby Stock Heat Race. Tristan Grape continuing to lead. Look out, Burke Flockinger got crossed up. David Norquist doing a great job of getting on the binders in three and four, making sure he didn't make contact with Flockinger. And all of a sudden, Shannon Pospisil, your hard charger here, going from fifth up to second in the double zero. Colby Kaspar working up into third. Flockinger and Orquist rounding out your order. But I tell you what, Tristan Grape leading the way. He has checked out in this one, almost a straightaway advantage for the 14 from Columbus, Nebraska. Down the back stretch, Pospisil and Kaspar going at it there just a little bit for that second spot. Pospisil got a little crossed up. Here comes Kaspar back to the inside off of four. Two laps left to go. Good side-by-side -side battle there for once again the second spot. Grape still your leader. Shannon Pospisil rocking the cushion off of two. He'll pull away ever so slightly from the 39 of Kaspar. Flockinger, Norquist routing out your order once again. And Grape will receive the white flag one more time around for Tristan. Tristan Grape currently sits eighth in the point standings here at Boone County Raceway this season. Looking for his first feature win of the year here at Boone County Raceway later on tonight. Going for the big money, 400 to win tonight. And he'll pick up the heat race win number two of the night. Tristan Grape is your winner. Coming up second, Shannon Pospisil, Colby Kaspar, Brooke Flockinger, and David Norquist will round out your order. But picking up the heat race win and the Jeff's Farm Tire and Service, Hemmer Auto, B-Rob Racing, number 14 from Columbus. That's Tristan Grape.